Alright there, my name's Ragtag, and I'm the greatest gutter tier gamer on the face of this earth. Although, if you listen to the YouTube auto-generated captions, you may have heard that my name is also Rex Hogan, and I'm the greatest got-to-see gamer on the face of this, whatever it was <laughs> said before. But welcome to part two of my Iron Crown Destruction Challenge, where I basically wreck everyone in every single game without even trying, as you will see today. Now this is my phoned in content where I can't be bothered constructing anything, I can't be arse scripting for you. I'm going to play and bamboozle you all with my amazing skill. So let's get this going and yeah, where is it again? Oh that's where the ring is and that's where the new gauntlet is. If you've not seen that already you should check out part one of my video. But that's alright, I will take you there right now because we will just go straight to the centre, get the purple armour or the golden weapon or whatever it is, ping it so that everyone else on the map can fear me and know that if they go to there, this is the end of their life as they know it. They are about to basically meet their maker because I'm going to bring upon them unholy judgement, a force of destructive nature, I'm an immovable object, I'm unstoppable, I am... I don't know what I am, I'm just going to obliterate everything, alright? Get ready, here goes. So I land on the jump pad and see what happens, I've never done that before, here we go. Landing on the jump pad to get the... Shite, wait, we're doing it. Landing on the jump pad to get the armour, that's right, yeah, fuck you! <laughs> alright, we don't have a weapon, but what we do have is an enormous amount of courage and... Lots and lots of sneakery. Ready? Shh. They don't know where we are. They have no fucking idea. Look at that shit. I have well and truly bamboozled them. I got the purple armor. I got the flying kick in. Do you know what they got? They got nothing. Egg on your face, bloodhound. That trailer was you using your freaking heirloom that everyone pays $200 for. But it ended up being my foot into your box. <laughs> Suppose we better go and get a weapon now. Right, here we go. Look at y'all, fighting there, like headless chickens, scrambling around for loot. You know not what you seek. I seek victory, I seek glory, I seek... Oh, hope for God's sake that they didn't pick up what was up here. Otherwise, this is going to be, uh... Going to be more... Yeah, I don't pick up white armour. We don't need that. Hmm. An RE45 is 16 bullets. We'll make that work. We'll most definitely make that work. And, uh, an arc star. Beautiful. Get ready, y'all. You're all about to get wrecked. Oh, yeah. Alternator beats RE45 every time, just so you know. Oh, look at you. Oh, pathetic. Come on, then. Mmm. You want to fight me with superior... Superior ground? You want the high ground? Yeah? Well, that's right. Let's swap places and see how you get on. Come on, then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck! Fuck! Hold You've awakened the monster. You've awakened the giant. You've awakened the beast. I will get to that supply. I'll get to it another time. I've got other things on my mind at the moment. Anyway, we were thinking of what we we're going to be doing with our amazing strategy, but it will not involve the supply ship. But that's all right. We are an adaptable beast. We are a. Wait. I actually do need a weapon to make this plan work. Do you know what? One second and I'll be with you, pal. Then we'll have that fight. Okay, let's go. Come on then. Come on then. Yeah? Yeah, I'm waiting for you. Oh, I'll swap that P2020 for a better looking one. Mm, I like it. What was your plan, sir? Was it to run in the same direction so that it makes my life easier? Oh, wait. Uh, give me that, and that, and that. And what else did you have? Two times. I'll swap your two times for my two times. Man. <laughs> If Scopes had skins, Ragtag would have a field day. Or at least more excuses for why I keep picking up the same thing again and again. Shut your mouths, I'm busy! Blue armor here, just in case we ever need to come back. Do you guys ever do that? What you think? Right, I'm gonna clock that armor, so if I ever get myself into a state where I've met a superior opponent, I will at least have double the armor. It is something I think about at the time when I see it, and then after that, I completely forget about it, mainly because I'm taking a shite mid-fight. Run towards the gunfire, run towards glory, Run towards... Where the hell are you all? Bunch of pussies. Blue helmet, that's what we need. Oh, I can hear someone. I can hear someone. Yeah. Yeah, what's in this? Wait. We got time. We got time to get that extended mag. Close this. Wait. I'm not ready for you. I'm ready for you now. Okay, where is he? Man. They are loud as shit. Are they running away? Whose footsteps do you think they are? Is that a big hero? There's two people there. Who is it? 
Knock, knock! Woo! Woo, woo, woo! Get the purple armor. He had purple armor! And a gold! He's got everything! He's got all the loot in the world! But he doesn't have a backpack. He does have a backpack. Up! That's okay. We can do this. We can do this. Why don't you kick the door? That's what I would do. <laughs> Take that, you fucking loser! Absolute. Oh, no. We're cooking now. Oh, man. I love it when people are too late at booting in the door and then they realize that, you know, they better do it because they've committed to the idea and then all of a sudden they get wrecked. Well, that's good for me. It's bad for you, son. Oh, do we want... Wait. We want a Spitfire. We like things up close and personal. We like giving it to people. We like the look on their faces as you shoot them right in the cock. Do you ever have a day where you think, I'm just going to shoot those things in the face because I don't want to hear you clatter around in your cage or I want to put you out your misery? Mainly because you should never have been there in the first place and the game does not allow me to unlock that cage. So therefore, I would unlock you from this life. It's a sniper. Oh, it's a sniper. It's a sniper red tag. Oh no, how terrible for me. You're all shite. They're in combat. Let's go get him. 15 players left. I'm ready. We're not having to repeat it yesterday. Where? Oh, there they are. There they are. I see them. I see them. Let us third party. Setting a portal. It's because I'm going to approach like a stealthy tiger. That's right. Round the sides. Did they die? Did they die? I wasn't looking. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy. Blending into my surroundings like <laughs> the, the predatorial feline that I am. Can you feel it? Can you feel that this is the game I win? I can feel it right down into my plums. Except that area over there is where I died and human conditioning teaches us never to repeat the same problems that you had before. Oh, I hear them. Oh, I thought I heard something there. I thought I heard something and I follow a rule. If you think you heard something, you probably did. Except in this case, we didn't. Let's go. Right. Come on now. Oh, there he is. Perfect! Hmm. Not perfect. Who's there? So someone's gone up there. Alright! Here we go! He's got the same... Hmm. Hmm. What? What the fuck? How dare you third party? Ragtag grew tired of talking, tired of vocalizing his desires, and whilst this may just be a rationalization to explain away the fact that he accidentally muted himself, let me assure you, the anger inside him was volcanic, the fury within was an implosion capable of shattering tectonic plates, and fisting the wraith in the anus felt like a god-given right. Justified violence, and as for gunfights in doorways... Tactical superiority. An apex predator toying with his useless prey. However, the fucking idiot still couldn't open a death box as he was a stone cold loser. But there was no time for that because conflict was thrusted upon him once more as the flames of hell sprung up from the fiery depths. But our hero knew no fear. He knew no common sense either, but it mattered not. He bravely charged into battle for a second round of Peekaboo. The fact that he swapped to the ammoless gun could not alter his destiny, for rage was his master now. Rage was his guide, and rage would be his beacon of hope for victory. His keen senses felt danger close, but from where? Even anger had its limits when it came to suicidal vengeance, as fighting an unknown foe in an unknown location was no option for those who want to look their opponents in the eye before testing their mettle. But an uphill journey spied a wandering traveler who looked like they were merely trying to survive. Mm. 
Another scaredy cat doppelganger bitch. As our hero approached the top of the hill, he was bamboozled. But today was not the day to die to Mirage, that smug legend merely existing to pleasure himself with a duplicate body. We would never fall to such a useless character. And no sooner did he rid himself of one when he spied another. Who was unaware that Wraith actually has a bamboozle of her own. And like a coiled snake, she unfurled with lightning speed and made her way up to the top of the building in the other side. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Turns out that dying to Mr. Reach Around was enough for this dumb cop.